honey, I want you to confess. Uh oh. Do you watch The Bachelor? <gasps> oh my gosh, that's such a sin. <laughs> such a sin to watch The Bachelor. I As know. a Christian. As a Christian sex but, therapist. But I think it's my guilty oh. pleasure. Okay, a guilty pleasure. Is it pleasure? okay to have a guilty pleasure? I like to see what young kids are up to, what's going on in the world of love and romance. Yeah. I know they're probably not very, you know, a good... Cross-section of real yeah. reality, so to speak. Yeah, because they're all drop-dead gorgeous and blah, blah, blah. But they still have the thinking of the culture. Well, the culture is, is be satisfied, uh, simple pleasures, guilty pleasures... Uh, oh, just like I just confessed? <laughs> yes. Uh, sexuality is uh, running rampant. Uh, as was said on The Bachelor, it's 2019 and anything goes and I'm a free sexual woman. Well, that kind of sexuality uh, doesn't really satisfy. And these women on the show, they're looking for something deeper, something a little bit more meaningful. So, honey. Yes. Why do you watch The Bachelor with me? Because it's really nice of you. I not I know a lot of husbands Why probably would not watch The Bachelor, watch the bachelor uh, with their wives. Great scenery. <laughs> I really love to see what the young people. Okay, are what do you up mean to. by scenery? Okay, let's just. Okay, are you talking about the scenery of the boobs? Be honest. Well, look. Okay, okay. They are in exotic places. That's great scenery. The women are beautiful. That's great scenery. They're scantily clad. Uh, that's great scenery. Yeah, I have to be careful about that because I am a Christian man. But yes, the world does tempt me to want to look at beautiful women. Well, thank you for being honest because, you know, when we watch it, I always say, do you think she's cute? Do you think she's yeah. beautiful? And do I you go, think she's I cute? Go, no, not really. No, no, no. You will never admit. And then you go, gosh, they're just hanging out. And I go, nah, I didn't notice. <laughs> You're so full uh, of it. <laughs> uh, and I certainly don't want to lust. But I'm also free to enjoy beauty. So uh, there's a fine line there. I get to lo look at that fine line and determine which honors you and which uh, doesn't honor you. It's I'm happily married. And you totally satisfy me, and you are a beautiful woman. That uh, really none of those women are as beautiful as you are. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure if I believe it, but I'll uh, go with it. So anyway, um, and I like to see relationships. I like to see people trying to develop a relationship under impossible circumstances. It's fascinating to see how these young people uh, navigate their own masculine and feminine souls. Well, let me just say that I think that The Bachelor is staged a lot. I mean, you and I, you know, we did Virgin Coaches and we we know all about reality TV. They tried not to script us, but they did. I believe a lot of it is scripted. Like, for instance... It seems very scripted. <laughs> I think they had a lot of times where they set Colton up to say, yes, I will be so devastated at the end of this if I feel rejected, if they're not ready to get married. The yeah, whole my time. greatest fear is they don't love me back. Yeah, yeah. And then Cassie, you know, bringing her dad in, um, you know, is totally staged. I mean, he, he. He flew all the way to Peru? Yeah. Wow. I think that was on ABC's time. But. <laughs> anyway, so besides that, hmm. it is impossible circumstances. I like how you yeah. said that. And yeah. it's kind of interesting to see what stress does to people yeah. and how they are really raw and, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, emotional, as we can see with Cassie and Colton this week. Anyway, what, about, what do you like about Colton? I think out of all the bachelors, Colton's really great at handling the women's hearts really well. Yeah. I think I've liked Colton probably better than any of the men I've ever seen mm -hmm. uh, on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. uh, he's good looking, he's athletic. They always take him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is this so shower? I don't really want to see him taking a shower all the yeah, time. Yeah, so I think uh, Colton is very sensitive. I think he can carry a conversation. I think he listens well. Uh, I think he asks good questions. He does. And you know, he's a vulnerable. 
Mm -hmm. He uh, he cries. He's not afraid to cry. Um, he seems to be, like you said, really sensitive, which is surprising because he claims to be a virgin. And um, I think there's a lot of hype about that. It's kind of ridiculous, really. And it was getting a little old. Yeah, and it became a conquest for some of the girls. Can I? Can I be the one? Yeah, like and, Timmy. <laughs> which is like, oh my goodness. Uh, that's really not what you want to be known for. But anyway, it's a different generation. I guess yeah. I guess I could just say, like, you know, you and I have done virgin coaches, and then that was, like, so shocking that, you know, people in their 20s could be virgins still and then not have sex before marriage. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's a very interesting young man, and we'll talk more about this virginity. Yeah. And what it really means. So, another big player is Cassie. So what do you think about Cassie? Yeah, that was really sad last week about Cassie, but ABC has this great picture on their, um, their website with all the girls, and then there's Colton in the middle, and right next to him is Cassie. By far, she is the most gorgeous. Like, there's just so much, you know, beauty there. And I'm not just talking about external beauty, although she's quite be beautiful. But there's an internal beauty in her, yeah. too, that's really yeah. breathtaking. She has a great smile. Mm -hmm. She's a beautiful young woman. Uh, yeah, really sweet. So, I she has been my favorite since the very beginning. Yeah, you didn't see her doing a crossword with anyone. I mean, there was a few challenges there when people were accusing her of things that may or may not be true, but yeah. she handled even that really well with Grace. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. She didn't backbite or talk bad about people, uh, or at least they didn't show it on the show if it did happen. There's one thing about Cassie. What's that? I don't think she knows about her true beauty. Colton sees that in her, but mm -hmm. I think she doesn't See that Cassie has an internal beauty and that's because we know through Inside Scoop because our daughter went to Biola University and through the grapevine she knows that Cassie uh, went to Biola as well. So there's a very good chance that she's a Christian. Well, you know Biola University they have them sign the waiver. No drinking, no dancing, no smoking, uh, no bad stuff. No it, sex. No sex. That is totally uh, a Christian taboo before marriage. Right. So she does have an innocence about her, but she also has a, a very sensual side as we start to see on some of those dates where, wh what do they do? Yeah, so <laughs> it's funny. Like we saw her like so chastely dressed and we saw her her innocence and her purity and all that. And then she goes on a date with Colton and all she does is make out with them. She gets in bed with him and they make out there. Who else knows what else went on? But anyways. Oh honey, come on. No, like really. This girl. They're very sensual together. Yes, and there's something that I love about that with Cassie. I love that she lives out of her sexuality, mm -hmm. but then I don't like so much how she was really giving away so much to him and playing. Like men, here's the thing about men. Men believe- Please, in, tell, tell us about men. I mean, we have no clue. Well, this is just a clinical thing, but men believe there's commitment when there's touch involved, mm -hmm. when there's sex involved. And so her hugging him, kissing him, uh, you know, caressing him. Wrapping her legs around him. Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that means something to a man. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> what do you mean you don't love me? <laughs> shock of all shocks. Talk about who was shocked at the end. Usually it's a girl who's leaving to go home and didn't get a rose. Well, poor Colton. Totally shocked because this girl was totally making out with him and giving him all sorts of affection. In fact, I don't know, maybe they didn't show well, this, but it didn't seem like they had one deep conversation. Not on the dates, but you know, they just, they really emphasized the kissing yeah. and his hands holding her 
buttocks. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what they emphasize on yeah. the dates. And But it happened all the time. And it might have happened three times and then just been a loop. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? It's TV. Well, now there was a really interesting thing that happened that they didn't really go into it a whole bunch, but I think it's quite interesting. But Cassie admitted that she's not a virgin. So mm -hmm. here she is going to Biola University, comes from a Christian family, um, claims to be a Christian um, from other resources. But anyways, she's saying that she is not a virgin and that her community and her parents would be disappointed to hear this. And I, I think, for one thing, it's very brave and very courageous yes. to be honest with yeah. him and to let yeah. him know. It's so important that when you're dating, you let them know what your sexual history and past is mm -hmm. because it matters. Yeah. Yeah, how many women do we work with that uh, wish that their husbands would have told them that they were porn addicts before they got married? Yeah. And then not have to deal with it after three kids. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And then, in Colton's eyes, um, I wonder how difficult it will be for him to be with Cassie if, I mean, if they got together, which is another story, but if they get together, how difficult will it be for Colton to compare himself to the other guy or guys that she had been with? like? You know, am I doing this right? Oh, he satisfies you. I'm not satisfying you. Like, it's so much better for two virgins to get married because then they can experience all this finding out about each other and about sexuality together, and there's not this other past. Yeah, yeah and that brings up the question, how does a person in a sexualized society, especially one who is a Christian and who knows... Uh, that there is sexual sin, uh, sex before marriage and sex outside of marriage and things like that. Uh, how do they do that without becoming repressed or act out? And uh, that was what a show was all about, right? Yeah. Hmm. How do you handle your sexuality when you're a Christian and you know, does scripture say that you shouldn't have sex before marriage? I think scriptures are very clear that there are sexual sins when two people uh, are having sex before marriage it's not called dating it's actually called fornication which in the bible is a sexual sin uh, other obvious sexual sin would be having sex outside of a, a committed marriage i think it's a sorry state because i think that most young people are not virgins even though they are christian um, most of them aren't going to church anymore they find their church online and we're hoping we're one of your onlines. <laughs> These old fogies, believe it or not, we might have something interesting to say because <laughs> we've lived it all. Believe us, we've lived it all.